All right, so I wound up changing out the barrel on my 300 PRC. I went with a fluted stainless steel barrel. Beautiful barrel, beautiful. I've already shot it about 30 times. Far more consistent than the proof. Now the proof would throw tighter little strings, but it would always have that fifth shot flyer. And the fifth shot would always open up my groups to like 1.5 MOA, something like that. And then my little cluster would be like 0.3. No matter what I did, I couldn't resolve the problem with the proof. It may work better on a different action. Maybe if the action is glass bedded, it would change the harmonics. Whatever the point is, it, I just couldn't do it. No matter how hard I tried, it would not happen. So this will actually be a giveaway prize for one of my contests. And who knows, maybe you'll mount it on your rifle. It'll mate to the action better, or your action will be glass, or something will happen to where this will shoot perfectly for you. It wouldn't for me, so I had no choice but to pull it. Uh, the company I had pull it, pulled it was uh, L3 Rifles. Dude, customer service just blew my mind. And the speed at which he got the job done was amazing. Like, I sent it to him, and he's like, hey, it'll be done in about two weeks. I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Calls me in like two weeks. All right, your job's done. I'm like, let me run to the bank and grab some money. <laughs> so that, that's really cool. Now, the purpose of this rifle changed. Before it was, I was just looking for just under MOA. That's it, because the idea behind this was to engage human-sized silhouettes at six, maybe 800 yards, depending on you know how well I shoot the rifle. And that's not a problem. With this barrel, I've already shot under one MOA. Uh, it was only four shots, because my magazine ran dry. I don't believe I have that target anymore. But I'll just run a clip from my old video because that video was actually supposed to post, but it got demonetized and I don't post demonetized videos on my channel. Normally I would just chop it up, figure out what YouTube didn't like about it, remove that, and then get it reposted. But the video just wasn't that good. So here's a clip showing that target. Print, print, print. So L3 Rifles made it, as I was saying. Well, they shot a tester group, which is right there, which is a half MOA. And it, I'm taking it as a personal challenge. I no longer want to just shoot this rifle at one MOA, which I've already basically accomplished. Now I want to try to beat his target. But see, the difference is, is I want to do consistent shooting. See, way back when, or I should say until just very recently, shooting like this style of rifle, or like an AK, or a shotgun, or something like that, it, half MOA makes absolutely no sense. That doesn't help you in the real world in any way, shape, or form. Not for me anyway. I mean, you may be different, but for me, th that's just the skill I'm not going to use. So I never took the time to learn it. Because when you're talking about half MOA, you need to have all your cylinders firing. Like, it needs to happen perfectly. With, like, this style of rifle... 1.5 MOA and sometimes, you know, sub MOA is totally acceptable. And I can achieve that just by doing a good trigger pull. Making sure I got good follow through on my trigger. That's it. Boom. Guaranteed one, one and a half MOA as long as the rifle's capable. And you'll slip into sub MOA sometimes. And especially for testing platforms, that's totally fine. I only got to hit sub MOA once just to prove that the rifle can do it. Because what would be the point of consistently shooting this at a half MOA? That type of accuracy is only needed for when you're shooting really long range. Let's pretend this rifle only shot 3 MOA. So at 100 yards, that's 3 inches. At 200 yards, that's 6 inches. At 300 yards, which is about where the cartridge takes a big old poopy and there's no point in looking any farther, you're looking at 9 inches. That's more than sufficient of doing any job you would ever want to do. So what was the point? There was no point in learning those really, really kill, those really, really niche skills to be able to shoot like a half MOA consistently until this rifle came along. And it still wasn't practical because I only needed one MOA. So at 800 yards, that'd be eight inches. So as long as I'm doing my job properly, I would definitely hit a human sized silhouette at 800 yards. But then he shot that, and it just irritates me because that's, I mean, I've got in to .5 MOA, I've done it, I've been there, even with this rifle, even with the proof barrel, not with all five shots, but the point is, I've been there, 
But I can't be like, okay, I'm going to shoot a half MOA. It would just happen. All the stars would line up. It would just happen. I want it so I can look at this rifle and be like, I am going to shoot a half MOA, jump behind the rifle, and do it. Uh, one of my biggest hindrances currently is my sandbag because it's actually full of sand. So it settles the whole time. So I'm lifting up, then it settles, lifting up, then it settles, and I got to make this shot while the crosshairs cross the target and my bipod. And I really like this bipod, and I paid a stupid amount of money for it that I won't even admit to how much I paid for this to get this mil-spec bipod because the look is freaking awesome. So I'm going to really try to make this work. I want this to work because it looks cool as hell. But I got a feeling there's a chance this is going to have to come off. And I'm going to cry if that happens to ha if that happens, and this can only be reserved for like LARPing sessions. But I'm going to try to make it work. I mean, come on. But anyways, like when it comes down to half MOA, your stance and shooting fundamentals are exponentially important. So what I've decided to do is basically I'm putting together like an online, an online class of how to learn to do it because I'm having a professional help me with it. Like he's got the trophies and everything. Like he's a straight up professional. He's going to be giving me instructions. So I'm going to shoot a video, I'm going to record myself, then he's going to take some clips out of there show what I was doing wrong, and hopefully we can all learn together. I already did one video about this. It was, like I said, it wasn't supposed to be the first one to drop. I was going to explain this first, but that video got demonetized. So here we are. And most of the response in the comments were great and positive, and we were all working together to learn together to get better at this job. Of course, there was always the few that have to go and take it negative and be like, oh, hey, you're shooting in a 25 mile an hour gusting wind and you're laying on cold concrete and you're shaking because you're shivering. That's why you can't shoot an AK-47 because you only shot that rifle at like 1.1 MOA that day. So we had to deal with those, but you know what? If you don't want to learn, if you already are so good, there's no reason for you to learn, then don't watch the videos. Otherwise, this is going to be an online class where we can all learn together. We're all going to bring our knowledge together, and I am going to learn how to do the fundamentals of going prone. That's what I'm really targeting here, is going prone and shooting this rifle consistently a half MOA. Yes, I could learn on my own through trial and error, and I would have already if the proof barrel didn't have that little hiccup in there. But with that little hiccup in there, it made it so I couldn't learn from what was going on. Because that hiccup... Because it would always happen, I couldn't like zero out the problem and eliminate it. This barrel, this shoots how it should. I can zero out the problems that I'm having, eliminate them, and get my groups tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And I could do that privately. Hell, I could even go take a class and just cheat and have them show me how to do it. Because I'm lazy and I have a whole bunch of money, I can just go take a class and they'll teach me everything so I don't need to do it. But we're not. We're going to learn this together. As a community, how it should be, and you guys will also be learning from a professional as I am. We'll all learn the mistakes together and we will grow. We will grow as shooters, and that's the whole plan here. So, if you don't want to grow, and you just want to talk shit in the comments, just go somewhere else. You're not helping anything. Anyway, sorry for that little rant there. Uh, thank you for watching. Like to help support the channel. I got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.